It's now been six months since I've been the manager of Manchester United. And honestly, this journey has not been easy. We're sixth in the Premier League. To make it worse, both our rivals, Man City and Liverpool, ended up dunking goal after goal against us. It was really embarrassing. We've even tried tinkering with our team's playstyle and vision, but even that did not work. We're in the January transfer window now with 99 million as our budget. And so I believe the only solution we have to improve our team, compete for trophies, trophies is to bring in a world-class striker yes guys the decision has been made we're going to be signing a striker for manchester united and i know this is going to annoy a lot of the rasmus hoyland stands out there don't get me wrong guys hoyland is amazing he's been scoring a ton of goals for us but at the very high level against a team like man city who've got Haaland, a team like liverpool who've got salah we need someone who's got the experience who can get the job done every single time and that's why I'm looking for a striker. Hoyland has scored 12 goals so far and trust me guys, even though we will be bringing in a new striker, we'll still give enough game time to him and he'll get the opportunity to grow into a fantastic player. That's the plan. But now guys, it's time to put this 99 million into good use. We need a striker. And you guys in the comments section went crazy with suggestions. There were plenty of them. And I think Ossiman was one of the most popular ones. One thing I love about Victor Ossiman is the fact that he's wearing his mask in game. That's just is hilarious but what's not hilarious is his market value 111.5 million even if we wanted to sign Osiman, how on earth are we gonna afford him well never say never we're gonna give this a try okay guys we're trying to sign Osiman, but i think 90 million is the maximum we can go for why because then we won't have money to give him wages so let's try 90 million and see how this negotiation goes down and uh they want 97.3 million and i don't think we can do this deal right now we'll only have 26,000 left in wages and Osman's not going to accept that. I think we're going to have to find another solution. Most of the Deadwood players that we had at the club, I've actually ended up selling them all. We have like Johnny Evans transfer listed, but even if we get a million for him, that's not really going to change anything. Wait a minute, what about Anthony Martial? Wait a minute, guys. How on earth did Martial move to Real Sociedad on a free transfer? His contract didn't even run out. I blame the Man United board for this. Glazers, you guys are at fault. I guess we're going to have to just buy time in this trans window to see if any avenues open up for us to get some money. If they do, we'll make the move for Ossiman. If not, towards the end of the video, we're gonna have to look at other options. For now, guys, we've made the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. This could literally be a chance to win a trophy. And the way we've been playing with Man United, these kind of chances will be rare, so let's take it. Carabao Cup means yes, there will be rotations. Players like Garnacho, Mason Mount, Scotty McDominay as well. We'll all be giving them game time, even, of course, Todi but I don't see why this team won't be good enough to beat Burnley. Oh, and I think this is going to be my first game playing in snowy conditions. Should be interesting. Guys, I've never taken the Carabao Cup this seriously. It might be our only shot at winning a trophy this season. We've got to win this game and make it to the finals. Oh, I just realized that the Carabao Cup is going to be two legs. Ah, uh, two legs against Burnley. I just hope now that they are under Vincent Company, they're just going to be playing a little more like a football team and not just trying to destroy our players. Nacho from distance striking that well and the keeper he was caught by surprise there problem and Todibo doing what he does best but he might need to do it again yeah but instead it's Burnley who score this is horrendous we might need to sign a striker as soon as possible because it could end up costing us even the Carabao Cup guys I'm just making some tactical changes uh, you know this is gonna go down terribly pressure on heavy touch let's get some pressing in direct passing for the attack I've kind of reduced the width in our attack as well let's see how this works call me Sir Alex Ferguson if we can win this game after that tactical masterclass. Okay, already a good start right now. Looking for Hoyland. Go on. Hoyland, strength as well and bang. Yo, I'm a tactical genius. I make the changes and within minutes, we've scored. Rasmus Hoyland is literally doing his best to not get us to sign a new striker. Whatever it is, guys, I think we've found the perfect tactics finally. I don't know why I didn't make these changes because now it feels like we're attacking a lot more. So much more direct. Look at Garnacho just drive the ball forward looking for a shot maybe oh my days Alejandro Garnacho that's I think the best goal we've scored so far and it's our number 17 Garnacho what a moment to put us into the lead I need a replay of this because this was world class from Garnacho edge of the box pick this spot and bang. I cannot believe one tactical change has affected us this much like it's, it's crazy oh and now Rodrigo is change of pace there is class Still Rodrigo looking for support. 
Hoyland comes for it. Oh, he couldn't get the shot. Moran's trying to defend here, but he just sidestepped away. What was he thinking? And bang, Burnley equalize. Do you know what, guys? Varane is not as good as I thought he would be. I think Real Madrid finesse Man United, boys. They got all the prime years of Varane, and then they kind of sent a finished version. So it's kind of annoying to see. Anyways, we're on the charge here. Frankie de Jong, lovely stuff. Mason Mount. Oh, come on, Mount. No, 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 Burnley. I cannot believe this. What has Winston Company done to this team? Burnley just destroyed us. Our only chance to win a trophy. And it might be going away. Rasmus, though. Rasmus, instantly. What? That is exactly why we need a new striker, man. Rodrigo has broken through. This is promising. Rodrigo, oh, that sidestep. That sidestep was lovely. He gets us the equalizer. And now second leg, we've got something to fight for. We'll take the draw, guys, for the second leg. I think we can get the job done. Wait, guys, I didn't even realize this. Regulon as well as Sofian Amrabat, they've returned to their former clubs. That is so annoying. And to be fair, Amrabat, I did actually play a fair few times. Regulon, I get it, we had kind of just not used him. Ah, but that's so annoying. I kind of want to sign Amrabat because he's great squad depth. But I guess, you know what? We've got Scott McDominay, and I think he's got that Man United passion. He's homegrown. So maybe, yeah, we're sorted for the CDM position right now. But what we do need to work towards is bringing in a striker. We're honestly halfway through the January transfer window and there have been no offers for any of our players. I just don't think we'll be able to generate enough money for Osiman. I think we're going to have to compromise. It's so annoying that we can't afford Osiman, but maybe in a different career mode, we'll be able to get it. For now, we need to look at another striker option and you guys in the comments section came through with plenty of options. But there was one suggestion that really piqued my interest. Antoine Griezmann. Ever since the 2022 World Cup, he's had a complete resurgence and he's back to his very best. And you know what? Every trans window, he was always linked with Man United, but for some reason or the other, it never worked out. Now might be the chance. You might be thinking, he's 32 years old. Why do you want to do it? Well, him being 32 might actually benefit us. Because of his age, he won't be playing every game and that means Rasmus will continue to play a fair few games in and there and continue to grow. Plus one more thing, Antoine Griezmann is a completely different player than Rasmus. We don't have this profile. Rasmus is like the big guy in the box. Griezmann is a more technical player. I think it balances out really well. Plus if we want, we can play Griezmann anywhere. I think this is it. This is going to be a ridiculous transfer if we pull this off. Griezmann's worth about 60.5 million, but we're going to have to really negotiate hard with Atleti because I do not want to be paying too much for a 32 year old. Here we go, Nick negotiations begin i'm gonna start off with 68 million first offer what are they gonna say wow we just got kicked out no signing griezmann it's not gonna be easy well we now play spurs in the premier league i really wish we had griezmann for this game but hoyland hopefully you can help us get the job done because we need to keep winning ah uh, this is what i'm talking about for man he's not fit half the time we'll play todibo once again if i remember among all the big teams uh, spurs were one that we actually Actually ended up beating so i'm hoping we can get the league double over them de jong bruno oh bruno fernandez how is lori save that bruno fernandez out wide for rodrigo rasmus oh my days loris are you superhuman how have you saved that that is actually crazy the power hoyland got on it for loris to put a palm out and save it unreal oh wait guys loris didn't do anything here it literally just came off his face bruno fernandez oh that's a lovely scoop ball for marcus does really well. Can he bring it inside? Nope. No. We might still have it. Rashford can't get the shot. Oh, we can start a crucial break here on the counter. I'm sending Rodrigo through. Thank he you. does not have the base. It's freaking Regulo who's making the tackle to save Spurs. Why did uh, Spurs recall him just for this? You know it. If we can see now, I am genuinely going to cry. Look at this, man. What is happening off the post? Korea miss. Yo, that's the worst miss I've ever seen, but we'll take it. We have a corner now in the 90th minute. This is going to decide whether we'll get three points from this game or not. It's a good ball in. Can we get the goal? Hoyland. Casemiro. No. Penalty. 
Oh my days! 90th minute penalty! I don't know for what. Guys, this is gonna change everything. Who do I give this? Who do I give this penalty? I, I don't think Bruno should take it. I'm feeling Marcus Rashford. I don't know why. I'm feeling Rashford is that guy. He is him. Can Marcus Rashford score this penalty in the 90th minute? Yes, he can! We're taking home a massive win against Spurs. Let's go! Oh my days. I do not know how, but we've somehow won this. Oh man, that win was big for us to beat a team that are in the top four in that manner. Tremendous. We're just two points away from top four in the Premier League. It's not all dull and gloomy. I genuinely feel if we can sign a new striker soon, we'll be fine. But time is running out. Okay, Griezmann, round two. Let's try signing him again. We can't afford to be playing, boys. So this time I'm straight up going 72 million for Griezmann. Come on, Atleti. Don't, don't just reject me. Tell me what you want at least. 76. Okay. I reckon if I counter at 75, we've got a deal here. Come on, Diego Simeone. Work with me here. Let Griezmann come to Manchester United. There you go. It's done. Now we just need to sort out his contract with us and we should be fine. I wish they had Griezmann's game face from like real life now because Griezmann looks a lot different. This, this, this ponytail style he had way back, but who cares about that? We just need him to be good on the pitch for us. And for that, we are going to offer him a really good contract. 120 k per week solid wages is he gonna accept joining manchester united well he wants a 15 goal bonus as well as a 1.25 million signing bonus well that world cup really boosted his market value so fair enough we're doing this antoine griezmann has signed i'm actually so gassed for this transfer man i know osiman was the first choice but we just didn't have the funds griezmann makes a lot of sense he's gonna give us a solid couple of years in his prime all while rasmus hoyland's gonna keep growing and then eventually Hoyland will take his place. It just, it just makes sense. Griezmann number nine though looks extremely weird. I'm not gonna lie. Should we give him number seven? But currently Mason Mount has it. So that's a bit weird. For kit numbers, I guess I'll listen to your comments once again. So let me know. Oh, and by the way, if you are enjoying this Manchester United career mode on FC24, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. It's now time for the second leg of the Carabao Cup. And yes, that man, Antoine Griezmann, is going to be making his debut oh look at him boys look at Griezmann on the pitch he is gonna be amazing for us I can feel it I've gone with my full strength 11 as well in the Carabao Cup because I'm desperate to try and win this here we go already Marcus Rashford and there's Griezmann making a lovely run already he's through on goal Antoine Griezmann no but you see, he's getting into those right positions. Lovely ball to Rodrigo. And I see Griezmann making a brilliant run as well. Oh, Griezmann. And nope. one Griezmann again. The keeper denies him. Ah. Oh. Oh, but not this time as Griezmann strikes it. Oh my god! Antoine Griezmann's debut goal! It's something special! Antoine Griezmann, you have moved me! Oh my days! New signing to score a debut goal like that! What even? That is outrageous! Goal of the season contender right there! Look at his movement, guys! I've not seen anything like it! Like, honestly! De Jong. Sees Antoine Griezmann, it's brilliant. Griezmann with a chip. Ah, that was too audacious. Bruno Fernandes yeah. striking that first time. Look at the power he got behind it. Honestly, we've dominated Burnley literally in this game. Rodrigo sees Griezmann making that run to just open up space. Griezmann, lovely ball for Rashford. Ah, oh, we could have won the game right there. We might still do. No, we don't. Let's not let all our hard work go to waste. Onana with the save. If we would have conceded there, it would have been so harsh. Ah, that was stressful, but we got the win. What a debut, though, from Antoine Griezmann. While we reached the final of one cup competition, in the other one, FA Cup, we completely bottled it. But hey, it's fine. Focus was on the Carabao Cup. We sacrificed this. But regardless, guys, we've made a cup final. Soon, we're going to have the chance to win our first trophy, and it's going to be against Liverpool. That game is going to be epic. Meanwhile, with Griezmann joining, look at us pick up some wins. 1-0 against Wolfsburg, Rashford scoring. Transfer deadline day is done too and I'm actually really happy with our squad now, especially with the signing of Griezmann. We now have a couple of tough games against West Ham and Aston Villa who are third. If we can beat them both, maybe we'll be in the top four. First, we've got West Ham. First chance falling for Bruno Fernandes from this free kick. My first free kick on FC24. Ah, oh, it's just above the crossbar. Counter-attacking opportunity as Griezmann makes a lovely run. The way he gets into those positions it's class to see 
brilliant play. Frankie de Jong and oh, Fabianski. Oh, we've got a counter-attacking opportunity here. Marcus Rashford with pace. Can he bring it inside though? Yes, he can. Bruh. No, he's put it wide. Free kick and this looks like a perfect angle for Antoine Griezmann. If he manages to score this, that will just be something utterly ridiculous. Let's see. Antoine Griezmann, good amount of power. Goes for it. No way. It's off the crossbar. But Marcus Rashford scores. Let's go. Griezmann created that and Rashford is there to finish the job. That's it guys, we get the result against West Ham. We still need the result against Aston Villa though and they're third in the Premier League. This is not going to be easy. There goes Griezmann, of course the control is perfect. He sees support, decides to go all on his own here. Still Griezmann fighting through and getting past opponents, looking for Rashford. Rashford should score and that's a lucky one but we'll take it. Once again created by Griezmann. Bruno Fernandes. We should be able to find Griezmann here. Griezmann with a lovely chip, and that's beautiful. Antoine Griezmann, it's 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 unreal. A special, special signing. All right, this is not ideal. We've given them a penalty. This is bad, but we make the save on Nana. Fair play. Now Rodrigo's got a chance to score himself. Keeps going, keeps going, and a lovely finish. 3-0. Griezmann's signing has honestly improved everyone in this team. What a fantastic result this is. Can't believe it, boys. From being like 10th, 11th in the Premier League after 24 games, we're now fourth. We're back in the fight. Maybe not for the title, but at least the Champions League spot. And who knows, if we keep pushing on like this, we could be second, third, maybe even first. For now, though, we have our biggest test yet. Champions League knockouts. It is time. We finished second in our group, and because of that, we're going to be facing... No, no, no. Xavi's Barcelona. Ah, this could be our Champions League journey coming to an end. Uh, I don't know how we're going to beat this team. They've got Robert Lewandowski in the box. Players like Rafinha, Pedri, Ronald Araujo as well. Martinelli is their new signing. That tiki-taka playstyle as well, it's, it's going to be hard to deal with. But you know what? Ever since we signed Griezmann, we're in the form of our life. We're going to give it everything in the Champions League against Barca. By the way, it just hit me. We've got two former Barca players in our team. Frenkie de Jong and even Antoine Griezmann. So a point to prove for them, maybe. Well, Freddy, Barcelona breaking through like that. It's, it's dangerous, and we almost conceded. Oh, Antoine Griezmann, completely free. No, that's the first time I've seen him miss a golden opportunity. Those kind of chances don't come by often. And now it feels like Barcelona just playing a completely different game. There was nothing I could do past that. The passing was too good. Gavi puts Barca into the lead. Barcelona just constantly putting pressure. Literally nothing I can do. Martinelli... We're somehow surviving. Barcelona now, again, just before halftime. I do not want to let them score again. Let's defend this, but we just can't get near them. This is terrible. Denied. And Rafinha almost makes it 2-0. The referee has thankfully blown the halftime whistle. We need a bit of a breather. Guys, Varane looks absolutely knackered. We're bringing on Totipo. I don't know what's up with Varane's stamina. It's crazy. Martinelli with the cross for Lewandowski. What is that? We literally put it into our own net. I was trying to spam the clear button. It just didn't work. Was it an own goal? No, it was Lewandowski who got something on it. We're 2-0 down. Rashford now trying to create something out of nothing, but it's just not our day. Oh, maybe, maybe it might be, because Casemiro has given us a lifeline. I don't know why he's celebrating like that. Barcelona just masters of keeping the ball. I can't get near them. Gavi now, what am I doing? I just can't do anything here. And Lewandowski, shocking defending from Manchester United at the highest level. And Lewandowski scores the third. Are they going to actually score the fourth? That would just crush any hope we've got for a comeback. Lisandro Martinez put in a proper Denied. challenge there. And we somehow get it away. A fourth goal would mean game over. A 3-1 defeat at Old Trafford in the Champions League. Maybe we're not ready for this level just yet. But you know what? We cannot let our heads drop. We still have a lot more to play for. Carabao Cup final. Premier League as well. We need to bounce back from this loss in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me build the most expensive team in FC24 career mode. Click here to watch that.